If the coalition do decide to arm the rebels, groups like this could be among those to benefit. Euronews correspondent Mustafa Barr spent the night with them at their makeshift camp on the front line. There was plenty of bravado, but little evidence of high-tech equipment or detailed military planning. The rebels need not only weapons, but training as well, a potentially long-term task. Some experts say that the lessons of wars such as Bosnia and Afghanistan are either that backup from foreign professional troops is necessary, or that weapons supplied may end up in the wrong hands. There's no evidence of it here, but U.S. intelligence is said to have detected signs of al-Qaeda sympathizers within the ragtag rebel army.